back to my channel. It's been so long since I filmed a makeup tutorial for you guys. It's been like two or three weeks. Like I've been so busy with school and then I was out of town for a while. Like I miss filming so much. So I'm so excited to be back. And I'm back to continue the foundation series. I had about three videos out and this is the fourth one. This is going to be my going out high-end foundation routine and it's full coverage. I really love this look. I've been wearing it a lot lately. I was at a party last Saturday and I had this makeup look on and I posted it on Snapchat and a lot of you guys liked it. So I thought that I'd do this for my next foundation routine. So I'm really excited to be back and filming with you guys. It's been so long and I'm really, really, really excited to show you guys this look because it's one of my favorite looks. It's my go-to look and I want to show you guys what I do all the time. So I really hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. So for foundation today, I'm going to use this Becca Ever Matte Shine Proof Foundation. You've seen me use this before. I use this in my Rihanna tutorial. I use the color Tobacco. But this is my favorite foundation to wear at night because it stays matte and it stays on all night long. It says that it lasts for 12 hours and I think that it lasts pretty much about that time. Um, it keeps you shine free. Of course, you're going to have to touch up, but it lasts really, really long. I would say it's about medium coverage. And since it's a full coverage nighttime going out look, I'm going to add two layers of this, but it's not going to be cakey or anything like that because this foundation goes on so smooth. So I'm just going to go ahead and shake it up as usual and put it on the back of my hand like I always do. Just a little bit. So I'm doing two layers. I'll probably have to do that again though. And I'm going to use this flat top brush right here. I'm just going to take it and dab a little bit just like I always do and just start blending it out from the center. Also, I hope you guys don't talk about my edges right now. Mm. Usually I do edge control and all that stuff for my videos like before I start filming, but I always get makeup in them like when I contour and stuff and then I have to wipe it out and do it all over again. So I was just like, you know what, we're just going to do it afterwards. So if it bothers anybody, sorry. So this is what it's going to look like after two layers and if you have any like dark spots right here just from sunspots or old acne scars you can go ahead and just take a little bit of that foundation and just dab it right on top where it doesn't cover. Next I'm going to put on this cinnamon lip plumping oil by Bite Beauty. I love this stuff. Even though my lips are pretty full as it is, I really do love the way a full lip looks with full makeup and lipstick and lip liner. It looks so beautiful to me. So anybody looking for like that Kylie Jenner look or just looking for a little bit of plump in your lips, this will do it. It doesn't make your lips super big. It gives them like a natural healthy plump. This stuff is all natural and it's really moisturizing and good for your lips. And it doesn't like burn or tingle or anything weird like that. It just, you know, tingles like a little bit, but it doesn't hurt. So I'm going to put this on and just kind of let this sit into my lips while I do the rest of my makeup and then blot it off because it's kind of glossy and you don't want to put your lipstick lip liner over this because it'll completely change the way that it looks. So next I'm going to do my eyebrows as usual, but I'm going to completely cut this part out because I did an updated eyebrow tutorial and I will link that below. I don't want to waste time showing you my eyebrow routine over and over if I you know, have it in my other videos and I have a video specifically for my eyebrows. So I went ahead and filled in my brows and I put some concealer on my lids just as an eyeshadow base. So we're going to start using eyeshadow now. And I'm going to use my Tamana palette that I always use. And I don't know if these palettes are still up on Anastasia's website, but the eyeshadows are separate now on her website that you can purchase. So they're still there. And I'm going to take this color Fresh right here and put it under my brow bone. I like this color because it's not too shimmery and bright. It just brightens up your um, brow bone just a little bit. And for my lid base, I'm going to go in with my um, Rezi palette. And I'm going to use the color Caramel. And this is just a nice eyeshadow base color. I always start off with kind of like a skin tone color just to, you know, just to get it started. It's nice to just have like a regular transition shade before you put down all your other colors. And next I'm going to use two colors from the Omrizi um, palette and the Tamana palette. I'm going to use this color Morocco right here and this color chocolate and mix them together and put them in my crease. And for my lid, I'm going to use this color Ben Gal. It's pretty much just like a skin tone color on me, but it has like a really nice shimmer to it. And I just kind of like that subtle shimmer. And I'm going to go up to that line right there. Right in here, if you can see that. 
because it creates kind of like its own cut crease. And next I'm going to line my upper lash line. I'm going to use this NYX 2 Timer. I used this once before and I didn't really know if I liked it or not, but I really want to try it again because I think it's a really great product. For lashes, we're going to do lashes in a box as usual, my favorites, number six. I always wear these and they are amazing. And for another drugstore product in this video, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. It just grips onto your lashes so well. Usually I love the Miss Manga Mascara, but this one has been so much better. So I really like this one when I have on lashes because you can just get right up under there and just mesh them in with your falsies. And next I'm going to go in on my crease just a little bit more, just add more of like a little cut crease definition. And I'm going to add that chocolate color and just go right up from where my liner is right here and just go straight up just a little bit, just for more of like definition right there. And I cut out all the blending that I did because it was a lot, but I went in and did a cut crease on both sides. As you can see, I did this in my Pop of Color collab video a while ago um, for like a spring makeup look. And it's pretty much the exact same thing and I love doing my makeup like this. So now we're going to go ahead and start with concealing and I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal as my base. And then we're going to color correct. Of course, I use my Anastasia Cream Contour Kit in the color Warm Coral. And I'm not going to blend this out very much. I'm just going to take my fingertips. Usually I blend it out, but I'm just going to take my fingertips and just blend it a little bit because I kind of want it to sit right there in those places where I need the most coverage, like right here, that line right there. And on top of that, I'm going to use this Maybelline concealer. I think I've talked about this in one of my other videos. This is like a dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer and it's perfect. I love it so much and it's for a fraction of the price. So first to set this in, I just kind of pat it under my eyes with like an angled concealer brush just to set where I want it to be and then pat it in with another brush. I don't know why it looks so much brighter on camera, but it's really not this bright, I swear. <laughs> it just always looks so bright on camera. But anyway, I'm gonna go in with my Bare Minerals Bare Skin Perfecting Veil. I got this little sample, those little gimme things at the counter when you're checking out at Ulta, and I was like, ooh, I really wanna try it. So this is by far the most perfect setting powder, blotting powder, whatever you wanna call it that I've like ever used. I used this first to set my concealer before I go in with my contour and highlight so that it's not too cakey or looks funny or chalky or anything like that. Um, a lot of people have mentioned that the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kits are a little chalky. When I do this underneath it, like under my eyes and stuff, it makes it go on so smooth. So I really, really like this. This is the light to medium one and it comes with a little brush. So I just tap it in like that. Like you can see there's a lot on the brush and just pat it right under my eyes. And I look up at first just in case there's any creases right there. I don't want it to set in them and it looks just so smooth. And now we're gonna continue highlighting. As y'all know, if you've seen my previous videos, I like to use this Golden Peach Refills from the Anastasia um, Online Refills and the Banana Color. This is the light kit, but of course I replaced it and I don't use the other colors. Kind of pointless, but it's okay. So I just take it and just go like this, shake it off a little bit and just start on my chin, my upper lip, Cupid's bow area, down my nose a little bit, center of my forehead, and in between my eyebrows. And I also go over that highlight that I just did because it kind of gives it like a pinky glow when I use the Bare Minerals. So if I do this on top, it just kind of makes it even out a little bit more. 
Now for my contour, I still like to build it up a lot. I like to look as bronze and as dark as possible. I, I really love that look. So I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. Like it really looks like your skin, like a natural shadow, like a natural tan. And I'm just going to swirl that in there and just start on my forehead area. And as y'all know, I like to build up my contour. So I'm gonna start with this one and then go in with a darker color. So I went around my forehead, on my cheeks a little bit. And I'm gonna take a bigger brush, a bigger powder brush, and go along my jawline. Right here on the top of my lip, a little bit under my chin. And I'm gonna go down my nose. I haven't been doing a like distinct nose contour lately. I've just been taking this brush, pinching it like this and just going straight down the sides of my nose. I don't know, I've just been kind of lazy. <laughs> I have not felt like doing like a serious defined contour. Maybe one of these days, but the summertime, mm, I'm so lazy with it. But this works just as well. It's the exact same contour that I always do. I'm just using a bigger brush, that's all. So I'm gonna go in with my Becca Perfect Skin Mineral Foundation as usual and go right on top of what I just did. So it's literally the exact same thing. And I'm not using a lot of this at all. And see how it's all in my hairline? This is why I do my hair after. And I'm gonna start off by doing some eyeshadows on my under eye area. I'm gonna use this color Topaz right here. It's like a dark gold color. And I'm going to mix that in with the chocolate color and the caramel color that I used for my transition shade for the very first shade that I used, just to blend it all out. And I'm just gonna start um, right here on my under eyes just to blend it out for a little bit more depth. And next I'm gonna take that same color fresh that I used in the beginning and just dab that on my inner corner just to brighten it up. And then I'm gonna take my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara that I always use as waterproof. I use this on my bottom lashes and just go in and do a whole bunch of mascara. And I don't know about some of you guys, but since my skin gets oily sometimes, the oils can kind of make my mascara run. So I just take any powder brush that I have that already has powder on it. This is the Bare Minerals one that I use and just go right on the bottom of my lashes after I put mascara on them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use blush. I'm gonna use my NARS Dolce Vita blush that I always use. It's one of my favorites. And I've been obsessed with highlighter lately, so for my highlighter, I'm going to mix two of them together. I finally got my hands on the Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop. I am in love with this, y'all. It looks so beautiful. Depending on how much you use, it can look like a glow from within or like a really like highlight on fleek kind of glow. And since I'm mixing two together, I'm just going to make it look like kind of like a glow from within. So I always start off with this one first, or will I have been lately. And I just go straight down the center of my nose with it because... It's just like a really subtle highlight for your nose contour. It makes it look so much better to me. So I just put that down my nose and on the tip of it and then right on my cupid's bow. And I also put this on my chin just a little bit. And then I start off with my cheeks. I start right on the front part right here and go up this way. That's how I like to highlight because when you smile, look at this highlight y'all, I just, I just can't, it's just so beautiful. Because <laughs> when you smile, it just makes it look so pretty. And next I'm going to use my Dose of Color Sun Kissed Highlighter. This is one of my favorites. I love it so much. I have not put it down since I got it a few weeks ago. And I'm not going to put that down the center of my nose or anywhere else really. I'm just going to put this on my cheeks just to make my highlight pop just a little bit more. So I'm just going to dab my brush in that and just go right on top. Look at God! Ah. So pretty. Can we just, like, mm, I love it. Okay, so y'all know that I love to mix lip colors. So I'm going to take this Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liner in New Dark, this dark brown one that I always use, and this Lolita Liquid Lipstick by Kat Von D. And I'm going to put these together. I'm going to put this down first and then this on. And it's going to make a really nice dark color. But first, I need to blot off some of this lip plumper that I have. And then we can go ahead and go in with my lip liner.
And now we're gonna go in with the Lolita on top. And to finish off this look while this is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and use this Evian spray. I talked about this in my summer makeup tutorial that I recently did. It's been really great because it's so humid outside just to keep the moisture in your skin and just to keep your skin set without making it oily. So I really love this stuff. Mmm. So this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. As usual, all products will be listed in the description bar below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'll have a ton of videos coming for you guys soon. I've gotten so many requests like hair tutorials, what kind of brushes I use, all different kind of makeup tutorials, nighttime skincare routine, daytime skincare routine, so many. I've gotten to connect with a lot of you guys on Makeup Social. That's where I talk to a lot of you. So whether it's on here or any other social media site, I love interacting with you guys so much and I love you so much. So keep the comments coming. I love talking to you guys. And as always, I hope you guys feel beautiful inside and out today because you are. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.